This is too much, guys. This is too much. You're never going to believe this, okay? Oh my god. I just tried to do my video for like the sixth time, okay? I explained everything to y'all. My phone crapped out again because of uh, the storage thing. I haven't figured it out. Please someone help me be better at tech. Please help me. I'm not good at it. And I don't know how to edit and so I like, I've tried to have this off book and, and I don't know how to edit. Maybe someone can help me with that and so I messed it up several times. I've been wearing this freaking clown wig the whole time and it started to drive me crazy. Um, yeah. And so I'm on my booze phone once again. Just did this whole thing, got it down, got it done, finally got the poem out. And what was I filming? A time lapse video. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? It looks funny. It looks cool. It's hilarious now. But you guys, I've been going mental in this basement for like two and a half hours, losing it, losing it, losing it, Yay. trying to get this done, trying to make it funny. I had this whole bit prepared at the beginning and this whole thing and it opened up and it was like, <laughs> and it was like, wham, bam, bonjour, monsieur et madame. And I like practiced that and I got it, you got and I made a time-lapse video oh so the crazy clown makeup is really like I am feeling legit this crazy right now like I'm about to cry I didn't even get it I didn't even get the poem <laughs> oh man it's too much um I just want to say for the sake of my um pride that I have been hired by theatrical companies to do professional makeup. I can do really good makeup. I was trying to make, you know, like a farcical freaking point, you know, about how none of it freaking matters. That's what I was trying to do. And man, tonight has just been really hard. Um, so I'm going to do the poem again. I'm just upset y'all. Like I, I went through this like lengthy explanation in the whole time-lapse video, which I'm going to post on here because that's just too fucking funny. But I went through this whole lengthy explanation about how I got the poem perfect a million times in my bed. And then the longer I've been in this basement, I just can't quite seem to get it. I've been down here for hours and I'm trying to get it done. I'm trying to make all this shit funny. <laughs> um, wow. Is, this is painful. This is painful guys. So yeah, I had this guy helping me and I explained how my dad got him for me and he's OG gangster, like very old school um, clown. And yeah, he's a creepy clown. He goes walking into town and everybody around hits the ground in fear. Hey, hey, yeah, why would anybody be scared of me? I don't get it. I'm just a friendly guy. <laughs> so damn, you guys, I said all kinds of clever shit and I tried to get through the poem and it just didn't even go that well. Um, wow. So I'm going to try to do it again. This is madness. I tell you. Um, I also spent hours digging around my basement, and if you saw my basement, you'd be like, whoa, girl, that's crazy. But I dug around forever looking for this clown costume that I've had since I was six, and lo and behold, the crotch ripped. But don't worry, I'm wearing these banana panas underneath it, so it's okay, y'all. It's totally cool. Don't be offended. So I have to fix that and fix my phone and fix everything in the world. So I'm just going to keep this in my lap in case I need to cheat. Because you guys, I just really got to get this poem out for you tonight. It's really upsetting to me that um, this is happening. That I did it so many times and I made a freaking time lapse video out of it. I didn't even know that was a thing, guys. I did not even know that was a thing. But, um... Ay, ay, ay. I can't even get into all the like VH1 behind the music because I just did it all and it's getting late. 
Hoo-wee. Um, this is, this is real shit. This is real poetry, friends. So, yeah, my poem, when I talk about in my poem, clowns, I just have to state that, like, my best friend and I absolutely love clowns. We love circus culture. We love carny culture. I hope you can still call them carnies. It seems like everything's offensive these days. I don't get it. Um, like, artists have to be able to push some kind of boundaries. Come on! Um, anyway, but, like, my best friend has this carny coffee table book, and we've gotten, like, a bunch of different carnies to autograph it for us, and I love that. And I also have, like, one of the best stories ever of my life about one of the coolest people I've ever met who grew up in the carny circuit. And I think I'm just gonna write a poem about him and, like, make that a whole other story, because I don't have the energy tonight, and it's one of my best stories ever, and I don't want to rush through it. But so when I say clowns... In my poem, I'm talking about, like, uh, like I, I did this scene from a play at AMDA, at my, at my acting school, and there was a line in it. It was, like, all these thugs and robbers, and there was a line that was, like, you clown face, idiot-ass clown. And that's kind of more what I'm talking about. So, oh, the gist of the poem is kind of, like, just pandemic frustration just people claiming that oh yeah I can totally relate and I'm super broke too and then like going to Vegas to party and drink martinis and just partying with 10 or more of their friends and just doing whatever really not changing for this needs you to change kind of world um so I find that frustrating but, oh my god, I'm going to try it again here, guys, and if I have to cheat, I have to cheat, because I'm very sad that this is, like, my millionth take, and that that last one did not even work at all. Um, it'll be an outtake on here now, but, whoo, here we go, day 16. So, <laughs> this one is called, I practice speaking without moving my mouth. Vigilant ventriloquist. I am not the hippest kid, nor am I the hottest chick, nor will I ever pretend to be. Beseechingly, I plead with thee. Stop dwelling on coolness so obsessively. It isn't quelling your needs, it only feeds the beast. The beast is authenticity's thief. It's no relief and no surprise. Their truth will never meet your eyes. So get it deep fried and eat it up. Fuck how full it is. Just smash the cup and double up on layers. It's so cold out there. All the lovers turn to players who barely even care. The flood is relentless. Beware. Throw your waiters in a bag. The gift of gab and grab whatever you can. I can't stand the bandwagon no more. These kids ignore even sound advice. Act like they don't know the price. They party like they want to be on ventilators. Smell you later, you self-centered freaks. I'll be seclustered until they stop turning both their cheeks. Like they don't know, they just poke the hole that made the leak. Like it's someone else's mess. And they're just there to make posts about it. Hashtag blessed. But what about the rest of us? What about the dominoes? Your carelessness shows with your odious attitude and your rude naked nose. I suppose I used to say I was all about rule breaking but not with actual lives at stake. And even in my rebellious phase, I wasn't trying to hurt no one. I pushed the bounds to find soul fun. Put away your fucking guns. Your mania is not a right. It's not polite to devalue human life and make us afraid to step into the light. 
Every muscle in my body's tight and wound up. They're taking every chance to be corrupt. And I don't mean to interrupt, but if we don't act fast to repair, the whole cast of characters is shit out of luck. I'm talking beyond despair. Ignore the blatant signs if you dare, but we won't fare any better than the dinos did. If we open up truth, then just put back the lid. Rid yourself of clown ideology. The fuck is up with all this messed up psychology? Wound up round hollow idolatry. Sanity's a scared kitten up a tree. And let me make it clear when I say it'll stay stuck up here if all the heroes we once revered decide we're too self-serving to save and disappear. Oh, boy. Okay, guys. I did it. It took a lot. It took a lot out of me tonight. I tell you what. It was really tough. Mmm. Vigilant ventriloquist. Vigilant ventriloquist. I threw that in because when I was a kid, I desperately wanted to be a ventriloquist. I even went so far as to go to a ventriloquist convention in Denver. And I uh, pulled these guys out because they're hysterical. I wish I could find a million. Ah! Wish that was my voice. Song. Song. And then they do this really, really cute thing when you ignore them and don't touch them for a minute. So I'll just stall. And she's going to do it any second. It's really cute. Here it comes. Here it comes. Night, night. So cute. Then there's this guy. Never heard him say that. Swear to goodness. I'll tell him where to stick that feather. Who would ever call it that? Who would call it macaroni? And then, I just discovered this in my last video. Scandalous. And they're like anatomical, they have these little teeth. So freaking funny! I love them! And then he does a little cutie pie too when you don't touch him for a minute. He'll do it. I swear he's gonna do it. Any second. Wait for it. Wait for it. Clearly will. So those are awesome. Just had to add a little humor, pepper in. I really wanted to just be like, I'm a rapper, bam, bam. Uh, uh, slam, slam. Chicka, wicka, wham, wham. Wham. And just like be perfect for y'all. But hey, it's like when I was a kid and I went to that ventriloquist convention and I thought like, I'm gonna nail this. I'm gonna be a fucking ventriloquist. And I would go to restaurants and I'd try to be like, I'll have the sesame chicken. And they'd be like, what the and it's not easy. It's really, really, really hard, actually. Um, and poetry's like that, too. 
and I am a Jane of all trades, master of none, and that's okay, because I'm showing up, and I'm doing it. Day 16, here we go. I've been up till like almost two in the morning every night downloading these and making them right and f dysfunctions of the interwebs and all kinds of shits trying to hold me back, but I'm just gonna keep doing it. So I'm sorry it wasn't flawless. I'm sorry it wasn't like wham, bam, thank you, I'm perfect, ma'am. But um, it was something. It was interesting. So I hope you got a little bit out of it. We can all just go a little crazy together and it's all right. It's fine. Um, yeah. Thank you for being part of the madness with me. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. I was trying to do this one other like funny thing real quick. I just found this to be a metaphor because I did it in my last one. But yeah, sometimes when you're trying to be perfect and you're trying to pump yourself up and you're like, I got it. It's memorized. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to pump myself up. I'm going to pump it up and I'm going to make it perfect. It's going to be so good. You won't believe it. Oh my God. And then it's just like, and that's okay. You gotta just keep trying. It's all right. So tonight was very frustrating for me and I will post my hilarious time-lapse video as well where I thought that I was doing my poem for you. And I'll just try again tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll do something else and I'll keep coming back. Goodness bless it. Oh yeah, this other funny thing I was gonna say. Um, is I decided today that I should just put naked in all of my titles of my poems because the word naked was in the one yesterday and it has by far gotten the most single day views of any of my poems. So I find that pretty hilarious. Um, I was like, yeah, I should just start naming them all like nudie brigade, nude brood, naked stew. Just write a million poems with the word naked so that they'll all get a bunch of views. You naughty, naughty, naughty ones. Oh, behave. <laughs> clicking on something because it sits naked. Anyway, I love you guys. Fare thee well. Fare thee well. Thanks for putting up with my craziness. Love you.